Hello, beautiful students. Good morning to you. How are you doing today? I believe you have a nice weekend and uh, you are fine. All right, it's time for class. I want you to do away with anything that can distract you at this point in time. I advise that you go to a secluded place where no one can, uh, can disturb you and make sure you go there with your writing materials. All right, so that you can put down whatever I mean additional information that you are given. Uh, last week we looked at we look at hydraulics, and we said that hydraulics are mechanical devices that make use of a compressed liquid such as that water and the oil in order to perform their functions. And I told you then that today we are going to do dig deep into it by looking at the application of hydraulics. So, um, my name is Olatu Bozunjegede once again, and uh, let's continue in our study. Now, our learning objective for today is going to focus on the explanation of the mode of hydraulic jack and the function of simple gardening sprinkler. We are going to know the components and uses of reaction turbine. And then we are going to state the classes and the application of water waste. Now, let's start hydraulic jack. Now, before we even talk about this, so people don't know what hydraulic jack is. All right. I want to tell you that if your daddy asks her, probably we have a hydraulic jack. Okay? As we go down through the lecture, we are going to see the image of hydraulic jack. So, so a hydraulic jack uses a liquid, usually incompressible, that is forced into a cylinder by pump plunger. Not that. So oil is normally used since it is self-lubricating and stable. So now, let's now see how it works. The worst is that when the plunger is pulled back, Okay, plunger is like a lever that has to suck in or suck out oil. So when the plunger is pulled back and is pulling what? It draws oil out of the reservoir through a suction, suction check valve into the pump chamber. Okay, when the plunger moves forward, it pushes the oil through a discharge check valve into the cylinder. Now, the sodium valve board is within the chamber and opens with each draw of the plunger. The discharge valve board is outside the chamber and opens when the oil is pushed into the cylinder. At this point, the suction board within the chamber is forced shut and oil pressure builds in the cylinder. That is the story of how it works. I mean the explanation rather. Okay? Now, what is the use of hydraulic jack? It is simply used for lifting every loads such as cars. Now, let me move to the next one. You see what I'm telling you? This is the position of a simple hydraulic jack. Okay, this is the lever. Okay, the lever is jacked down occasionally. Okay, when it is jacked down, okay, now the piston is forced down. Okay, which I also call plunger. It is what? First down. All the oils here, all the oils here are being comp are being compressed, then they will pass through this channel, okay, they pass through this channel, flow into it, this channel, then what will happen, as it falls down, it will make the level of the oil in the piston here, or I mean the cylinder rather, to move up, so that energy, big, big energy is developed in order to move any load put on B up. 
Okay? Let me come again with the explanation. Okay? I'm not concerned with all other parts. You look at it, the reservoir, the large cylinder, one way valve, and so on and so forth. Let me simply tell you how it works. The lever, here, this is the lever, okay, is forced down. You press it down. The moment you press it down, okay, the piston that has small area, which is also called the plunger, we move, we press down the area of the oils available here. And as such, they will be forced to move through the opening here. As they move through it, they tend to lift themselves up higher in the large cylinder. So, the mechanical energy built up here is what is used to raise the load put on this section. Okay? Now, this is the email for Adolic Jai. I know you've seen this and you, this is not new to you. Then we move to the other um, hydraulic device and its application. It is simply called the garden sprinkler. So a garden sprinkler is a mechanical device with perforators through which water issues from a hose to spray plants, lawns, or gardens. Now, look at the image. It looks very beautiful. Okay? Now, we have hose. This hose, this is, this, these are the perforators. Inside this, we have tiny, tiny hose. Alright? Where the water, the water passes through the hose, enters into the perforators, and comes out to work, to wet any areas that needs to be wet. And this is a schematic diagram for heat. Okay? So you can go through it, study it on your own. Then, the next device is a reaction turbine. Reaction turbine. In those days when I heard of turbine, it has to be connected with the power. And the electricity. See, our hydropower makes of a turbine. All right. What is this turbine? Reactor turbines are those turbines which operate under hydraulic pressure energy and part of kinetic energy. So water reacts with the veins as it moves through the veins and transfers its pressure energy to the blades so that the veins move in turn, rotating the runner on which they are mounted. Now, the function of a turbine is to utilize the velocity of a fluid, I mean fluid, either liquid, and convert it to, into rotational, into rotational energy. Now, let's look at the components of reaction turbine. Components of reaction turbine. It has three components. The first one is casing, the second one is runner with veins, and the third one is draft tube. Let's look at them in detail. Casing. Okay, casing is a tube, I mean casing of turbine is a tube of decreasing concessional area, with the axis of the tube being of a shape of volute or spiral. The water first fills the casing and then enter into guide veins from all sides radially inwards. The decreasing cross-sectional area and velocity of the entry water from all sides being kept equal. Now let's look at runners with veins. Okay, the runner is mounted on the shaft and the blades are fixed on the runner at equal distances. The veins are shaped 
that the water reacting with them will pass through them, thereby passing the pressure energy to make it rotate the runner. The draft tube. The draft tube is a divergent tube fixed at the end of the outlet of the turbine, and the other end is submerged under the water level. The water after working on the turbine transfers the pressure energy, thereby losing all its pressure and falling below atmospheric pressure. The draft tubes accept this water at the upper end and increases its pressure as the water flows through the tube and increases more than atmospheric pressure. Now look at the diagram now. Let's now discuss the diagram and then put more explanation forward. Okay? Now, this is the casing, okay? The casing of a reaction turbine. We said it's volute in shape, like spiral in shape. And I told you that the casing is of, you know, it does not have uniform uh, shape because it's spiral. And we have the guide veins. Look at the guide veins. And these are the blades of the guide veins. The blades, we are talking about the blades. And uh, what we know is that the moment water enters, enters through the volute or the spiral. The moment water enters into it, okay, it is, it's the guide veins help the transportation of water. You know, look at how it enters. And as the water enters the guide veins, because the guide veins is rotating, it's moving, then it tends to make the water rotate or turns round okay so as it, as it turns round then it enters into the drive the waters then enter into the dra uh, draft tube okay now let's take another hydraulic device which is waterways waterways so now a waterway is a mechanical device used for converting the energy of flowing or falling water or dams into useful forms of power. Okay? It consists of a large metal wheel with a number of blades or buckets arranged on the outer rim from the driving surface. Now, types of waterways. We have overshot waterways. Before we move into types of waterways, waterways are types are named according to the point where the water is eating the where the water is eating the wheel. Okay? So, overshot waterways. It means, in this one, it means that waterway, that this waterway is suitable where there is a small stream with a large height difference of more than two meters. Okay? And it is a vertical wheel with horizontal azure. Then the water eats near the top. That's what I want to say before. That the water eats near the top of the wheel. That's why it's overshot. Near the top. Over. Shot. Near the top of the wheel. And in front of the azu. So that it turns away from the edge race. Now look at the diagram. This is the water. Okay. Look at the part of the water. Which we, call, we, we call the upper peristock. It eats the top of the wheel. Okay? And when it is, what do you think it will happen? This one is turning. It will make the water to what? To fall and flow. Okay? Now, what we need to know more about this? 
The driving surface is the bucket. That is the driving surface. You can see the bucket. Water, water. The type of water in which this kind of a wheel is used is water with low volume, but with large edge. Large edge. What do you mean by large edge? The distance from the, the I mean the height of the water from the from the sea level. The height of the water from the sea level. Okay. Now, the under short wheel, another type of a uh, water wheel. Here, the vertical wheel is with horizontal as the water it's wheel low down, low down. That is that is the name on their shot. Low down. Typically in the bottom quarter. Driving surface is blades. Okay. Water is the water uses is large volume of water but with low end. And the efficiency is about 20% prior to the 18th century and later 50 to 60 percent. Now look at it. Okay, this is on the short way. The water is eating. The water is, see, this is the head. So, head, this is what we mean by head. The distance from the bottom of the water to this top. It's eating it low. And it is flowing in, the, in that direction. Now, back short wheel. It has vertical wheel with horizontal as. The water eats near the top of the wheel and before the hazard so that it turns back towards the edge race. Driving surface is bucket. Water is low volume but large edge. And the efficiency, efficiency is 80 to 90 percent. Now look at that short wheel. The water is eating this is the edge. I say edge. The distance from the top of the water to the bottom of the water. That is the meaning of edge. Okay? Okay? Now the water is eating the head of the is eating the head of the blades or bucket rather. Then it's turned down this direction and flow as you can see. Now breast wave. Breast wheel. It has breast. It, it has vertical wheel with horizontal as The water eats the wheel roughly central, typically between one quarter and three quarters of the height. The driving surface is bucket, carefully shaped to ensure that water enters smoothly. Water through it is a large volume with moderate edge and the efficiency is between 50 to 60 and this is a sketch of a breast wheel. Now, having said all this, it is time to check whether you get the lesson by answering the following questions. One, explain the working principle of hydraulic jack. Two, state three components of reaction turbine. Three, of what use is reaction turbine? Four, state types of water wheel. Um, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make, do something very interesting from this time forward. In your assessment, I'm going to be putting videos to check if truly you always visit this link. I, I, will, I will put it forward. So, when you are doing your assessment, don't think that the question will only come from this uh, lesson that I've been given or the lectures. I'm also going to draft questions from the links of videos and the text that I've given you. That is why it is very important that you visit these sites. They will help your knowledge base. There's no doubt about that. 
okay now i believe you enjoyed today's class anyway if you have any question you can forward it to my email i will always be ready to answer you okay make sure that you abide by all the rules that guys lockdown and prevention from the COVID-19. I pray God will continue to protect us. I'm going to see you in next class. Make sure that you read really well. And uh, you can read listen over and over to this lesson so that you can get it really well. God bless you. Bye for now. Love you all.